Welcome back to our Signature Retail Services video training series. The purpose of today's video is to walk you through how to sign in and use the first phone to sequence a bay at the Home Depot. Before we get started, I want to walk you through the login instructions for the first phone, where you can find them. On your Natural Insight dashboard, you'll want to go to the Resources tab, which is at the top of the screen, highlighted here in the circle. Once you're in the Resources tab, you'll want to look for Home Depot Best Practices. And once inside the Home Depot Best Practices, you're going to look for a document that says Best Practice for Logging into the First Phone. While your credentials will be the same, the passwords do change periodically, so you want to get with your Territory Manager or Area Supervisor to find out the most recent up-to-date password. Once you've gotten the password, you'll want to get the first phone, selecting the login option here highlighted in red. That will bring you to the sign-in screen. Like I said before, your sign-in password may be different, but your credentials will always be the same. So get with your Territory Manager or Area Supervisor for that. Once signed in, you'll go to the IMS application, which is the inventory management system for the Home Depot. And you'll select Shelf, which is in the bottom right-hand corner. From here, you'll proceed to scan the Bay ID tag, and that will give you the option to sequence a Bay, which you'll select. Once you've selected that option, you'll get this message that says you're about to delete the stored information. You'll save yes. Once you see this screen, you can start sequencing the Bay. To sequence the bay, you simply start scanning the item tags or the UPC codes on the labels in the order in which you want the bay to be sequenced. Scan each tag as you move across the bay in sequence, and once you're all completed, you'll finalize by hitting Done, which is found in the bottom right hand corner. Once you hit Done, you'll see this button. You'll click OK to successfully update your bay. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you learned a lot. We'll see you on the next video.